younger, my paddling skills were a lot stronger. Uh, or like, I just had a really strong paddle, like pretty much out paddle anyone my age. And um, partially due to like, I did swim team when I was little and then, so I still had like, a, have a strong arm for paddling and my coach kind of just has, he like recommended like, you put your arm underneath your board and I don't like, go in a circle when I paddle, I go pretty straight. <laughs> People are like, how do you not go in a circle? I'm like, well, the fins are on the bottom of the board. And it's just kind of funny when people think I go in a circle. One key thing for me is opening my eyes when I duck dive. Like if I duck dive the wave, like sometimes you can kind of maneuver your way through like the clouds and like there's like little pockets you can get through. Or sometimes I do this thing where I stand up on my board and then like can get my board really deep, deeper than I would when I've duck dive. And then I just like jump down and grab my board and kind of duck dive or I just fail. I definitely specialize in late drops, um, partially because like for me paddling into a wave, I usually don't like to take more than three to four strokes. Like I just want to go boom, boom, boom into the wave. So yeah, I definitely take a lot of late drops and um, I make a lot of them, so it's not too bad. And, and I always do this thing where I like sit or sometimes I'll like sit back and push my tail into the water and then like do the little like, ooh, like get going forward, propel myself. I mean like sometimes slower small waves are like the hardest thing to get up in whereas like when the wave has some oomph and you kind of just like get into the wave and I put my hand in the middle of the board and just like push up. Um, my dad makes my handles. I remember when I was first like struggling to duck dive and just like get out through beach breaks. Um, he was watching me struggle and he was noticed the lifeguards had handles on their boards. He's like, okay, I'm gonna try to make you a handle. And then we get our supplies from Surf Co. Hawaii. They have like these leash plugs for boards that don't come with a leash plug. And we just like stick it on and then get like fisherman's, fisherman's like surgical tube and then rope and it's really easy. Like put it on in like 10, 15 minutes. My process of relearning to surf you know, it's nice that, it's almost nice that it happened when I was young because you're so much more adaptive when you're young. And so I just kind of started off on a longboard and worked my way down on boards and um, just slowly adapted with persistence. And, you know, there's always like struggle days. And, but I don't know, I'm stoked I didn't give up. <laughs> like last year, QS and then before that, the few years before that, I was kind of doing the grind and just like really losing my motivation and competitive like arena of just surfing like horrible waves and just trying to grovel and it's just not my thing. So I'm excited this year. I might have a little film or I'm working on a film project with Aaron Lieber just to highlight my surfing ability because a lot of people just don't even know I can surf and so. I'm just excited to work towards something and keep on improving my surfing and surf good waves. <laughs>